All right. So it's on to chapter three. We are at the camp. Don't. Oh, I have to wait until early morning of the next day. So every day you have to go to bed. You're required by law to go to bed. <laughs> 8 a.m. Come on. There we go. No. Uh, mm, yes. Ding was, like, living place this is my roommate. She gonna, like, fix my sleeping schedule. <laughs> <laughs> I will have to work so hard to help fix everybody's schedules when I live in New York. Oh I don't God. like- if I have to suffer through a proper sleep schedule, so do all of you. <laughs> <laughs> Ta-da! Oh. Well, shit. It, I, it's too late. Or actually precisely too late. It has to be between 6 a.m. and 8 a.m. There. Ah, precisely. 6.57. Yes. That's the time I wake up every day. <laughs> oh god, I would die if I had to get up at that time every day. I have to get up no, at 7.30. You, you get and I don't like it. it. I don't like it, though. Oh, hi, Barbara! Oh, she's in her normal outfit now! Poo! Hi, Barbara. Oh. It's the incentive. You've seen the advertisement. Now get the skins yourself. Barbara, <laughs> what the fuck? Did you have a good rest? Barbara, you're... Good morning, traveler. Jean, your clothes! <laughs> I can't... Oh, all... which one? Barbara, did you change back? And Jean, why did you change... <laughs> why did you change back, Jean? <laughs> I like the differences, subtle differences in this answer. Barbara, did you change back? And Jean, why did you change back? <laughs> Well, this I'm is fine a complex this. and evolving situation, so we should be ready for any eventuality. For security reasons, we changed back <laughs> into more combat ready attire. <laughs> for security reasons, I had to change my clothes. I know what she means, but the phrasing's really funny. I don't know what she means. For security purposes. Does she think this clothing is going to protect her more than the other clothing? I mean, technically, there's some armor on this. I, guess I think the only thing would be the boots. Yeah, the boots and the gauntlets, every, every I guess. Uh, the boots are, are armored. armored yeah, the armored gauntlets and armored boots. She is okay. wearing gauntlets. Well, at least, at least her, at least her forearm and her her feet are protected. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Actually, her, her vulnerable chest area is less covered now. I know. Whoops. Even though it may Oops. not allow us to make the most of the surroundings. My apologies. It's fine. Don't apologize. It's in everyone's best interest. Like my combat gear, which is just a dress. And is really no different than what I was wearing previously. Well, that certainly takes the fun out of things. <sighs> Back to work already. Ladies and gentlemen, the Knights of Favonius Acting Grandmaster. <laughs> she sounds as disappointed as the rest of them. I wish I had the same self-discipline. You're too kind. Actually, I think we could learn a lot more from your talents. That's why we can place so much trust in you. My talents of changing my outfit on a whim, which I'm absolutely going to do when this guy has outfits. We didn't <laughs> want to wake you, but I noticed some white smoke coming from one of the other islands. I think it'd be best if we went and investigated it together. Clee, did you set an island on fire? No, Be no. honest now. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I mean yes. But no. <laughs> it must be Dodo King. Yes. Oh, even Paimon's starting to believe that this Dodo King might actually show up. I'm also keen to lay eyes on this so-called Dodo King. All of you, follow me. Let's investigate. I mean, he at least has some physical form. We've seen his painting on walls. Dodo King of the Sea, lying in wait. At a location Barbara mentioned, which is the over there. King. I wonder if Dodo I can King. fly the whole way over. You want me to try, and then I'm inevitably drown? You want me to glide? I bet I can Go do it. it. I bet Go I can do it. it! I'm not a betting man. I believe in myself! Coward. Don't be a coward. Do it. I'm doing it! <laughs> I know no fear of death! 
I'll just respawn as someone it, else! Anita. Oh my god. Oh! <gasps> A conch! Damn. I'll have to go get it later. I know, conch, I hear you. I'm sorry. Why I love you! you Why did you leave me? I'm sorry! <laughs> I made it. <laughs> hey, look, a challenge. I made it with plenty of stamina to spare. What is, what does this do? Man, yes? you abandon that you abandon that conch, conch harder than you abandon your Mass Effect Andromeda playthrough. Oh my god! Uh... <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Oh wow. Fuck you! <laughs> <laughs> you know full well why that has been on on, on semi indefinite hiatus, and it's because I had to restart over, and I didn't want to fucking go to the ice planet again. <laughs> Nobody wants to go to the ice planet again. Adjust mm. your angle and throw the wind blast her passive through the hymnal rings to modify the wind blast elementium to match that of the hymnal ring. Okay, then use the heart passive to destroy elemental targets, unlock mechanisms, and obtain rewards. What? They can change the directory of wind blast sarpassiums and cause them to turn. Reprise rings can cause wind blast sarpassiums to pass through them to split into two. What? Interacting with some of the rings can change the position or orientation. Some of these rings move by themselves. Keep an eye out for those. What? Oh, I'm supposed to tilt them? So they hit the thing, I think. Okay. Rotate it. There you go. I think I understand. I'm gonna try it. Okay, I need to move it again. Oh! <gasps> the boys! My boys! I see my boys! <laughs> Hold on, I have to complete this and then I'll go see my boys. <laughs> I see my boys! Hello! Don't worry! Oh, no, bye! Well, go and in, go and investigate the one, the second one. Yeah. Mhm. Mm uh, no, 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 no. no. Oh! Oh! Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, I'm stupid. Okay. <laughs> I'm, no, I'm just. No, you're no. not. I made the same mistake. I'm just trying to save you time. Yeah, we we all did. So everybody, <laughs> everybody. Did. Okay. We what? Did. Do I go talk to my boys or do I save the conch? I mean, mm -hmm. it's your boys. It is my boys. Hold on. It's your boys. I have to. I've gotten. I have. I have gotten so many crabs here, by the way. Oh, yeah, I know. Same. Oh my god, this is great. That's great. My boys. <laughs> Oh, over there. Mm. Huh? It looks like they're having a brother's day out at the beach. Hmm? Right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> what the heck are they uh? doing here? <laughs> My thoughts exactly. Huh? Kaya, aren't you supposed to be working? It's Kaya That's working. And the weird <laughs> Kaya and the weird girl. <laughs> I mean, may as well just be his name. Huh. I had no idea we'd run into you here. An unexpected pleasure. What are you two doing here? Huh? So it's not Dodo King? Hmm. Dodo King. Huh. Is it one of your nemeses? <laughs> one of your many I nemeses? Have known. The bastard. So it was Dodo King that invited you to these islands. Who invited what a coincidence. you? Were you? What do you mean? Were you also invited by Toto King? I'll get to that. But first, I want to enjoy some more of this island sunshine. Master D. Luke might actually get a tan. Wait, Shoot. did you two sail here? How did you no. get past the storms and fog? Don't kid yourself. Storms the storm clouds spawned by lucky. my brooding. When we will arrived, never allow there wasn't a tan. patch of fog in sight. <laughs> Now oh, we cleared like the way. Vacation. But as you know, a boat wouldn't have made it over. 
We had no choice but to use the same method of transport you did. You flew over on Davalin? Huh? You mean Davalin carried you here too? I didn't know you were friends with God. You seem the Davalin taxi service. Dragon flights are a fairly conspicuous affair. Pretty hard for one dragons to live nowadays. Wait, so everyone found out that I. It would seem that people noticed a dragon, but not necessarily the cargo. Still, word spread quickly that a dragon was in town. Here's the real question. Did Devalin make several trips, or did they all just sneak on to Devalin? Did they see? Hey, <laughs> they sneak on board Devalin! But that implies that Devalin regularly just flies over here. Then how does Zavolin not notice if he has two stowaways? Like, did they sneak on him? And then when he took oh, off, no. Deluke just like put a uh, Kaya just put like a knife to his neck and was like, "You're gonna fly us to the islands, aren't you?" No, it doesn't mean that he would regularly fly here. Uh, what I'm saying is, is there are two options: either he made multiple trips because mm -hmm. multiple people asked him to carry him here, and he was like, "I'm down," or mm -hmm. they all somehow snuck on snuck on to Devolin and hitched a ride, and you yeah. all arrived here. It's just that you're just finding them now. Yeah. Days later. Everyone's favorite bard had the power to summon dragons. Oh boy. I guess Devon Which makes you wonder where were they? Fan of classical ballads. I'd like to think that they've been because of who they are, they've just been standing here staring at the ocean stoically for several days. <laughs> and well, have not moved. But yeah, but these islands just expanded today. So where were they? You've been to all the islands That's prior. That's true. Were they just in the ocean? <laughs> they were sitting at the bottom of the sea in a little ice bubble with Deluke staring at Kaya angrily and going, I told you not to piss off the dragon. <laughs> <laughs> Asshole. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I, I assume you two traveled here together? <laughs> you assume? The acting grandmaster's jokes have improved of late. Do we seem like fitting travel companions to you? So they did come on separate trips on a dragon. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What the? What? The Devalon taxi service. <laughs> Devalon taxi service to and from the he island. Also, dude, Devalon eats too. <laughs> maybe, maybe he, maybe you know what? I know how Deluke got here. At least he gave the bard a bunch of booze. <laughs> Kaya probably also gave him a bunch of booze, actually. <laughs> There were actually two others that arrived with us on the island. They wandered off for various reasons. Why is everyone here? Is it Lisa? One of them is definitely Lisa. The other one no. is probably Alba No. One of them might be Albedo. No. Like, what, what I said. <laughs> no. <laughs> so it's not that... Damn, okay. Various reasons? <laughs> Let's just say that big egos aren't conducive to team cohesion okay hold on a minute <laughs> big egos are not conducive to team cohesion and 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 yet deluke stayed with you so who the else came here <laughs> an incisive observation nothing ever gets past the honorary night <laughs> so who are the two others albedo and razor why Razor? Albedo I get, because this Ooh. is a cool science island, but why Razor? Ow. 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 Huh? Why? Razor wanted to do science. <laughs> oh, maybe it's because they're Wolf both friends science. with Klee. But why would Razor come here? He's scared of Klee. Rightfully so. Don't tell us you all came here for a vacation. That's the best Wait, source of friendship. Kaya, if you're here, <laughs> Terror. You're overseeing the Knights of Favonius. Pant shitting terror. It's Lisa, isn't it? The mighty librarian Lisa. Yes. Lisa yep. is in the office Not right too. now, by the way. Ways, if you go back, Lisa is now in the office. Us. Yeah, it and was Kaya. Now it's Lisa. To watch out for the next seven days. <laughs> oh my god! And I, I wonder. Oh my god! Thankfully, Lisa's there. Um, where did Albedo and Razor go? Also, what was that white smoke I just saw? Ah, uh, yes, that. I should start with how we ended up here. Flashback? We arrived by dragon, but as soon as we entered the island's vicinity, something resources. caught Razor's eye. He jumped straight off of the dragon's back and vanished into the ocean. 
He went to go catch a fish. We worried that he'd be in danger, so we also leapt off the dragon and glided onto this island. But as you can see, this is but a deserted land. Other than, you know, the hilly churls over there that we haven't done anything about, but hey. Based on previous experience, I decided that it would be best to wait for contact. While D. Luke believed that Razor wouldn't return to find us. During our little dispute, Albedo quietly disappeared mm. on us. How characteristic of him. Hold on! How come he was able to walk off, but you two are stuck here? <laughs> Who knows? Perhaps we're fated to be doomed together. Right, Master D. Luke? But Kaya, you can make bridges of ice and walk across the water. You're not trapped at all. Is that so? Albedo is an alchemist and skilled at his craft. If I could use those beautiful artificial flowers of his, it would be a simple affair to traverse these islands. You could use For your some ice. Reason, I remember that our initial landing zone was the island over there with the higher mountains. Only at your insistence did we change course and land here. Oh my, but your footsteps melted the water. Oh, and I see. To freeze. Who made Cryo and Pyro so incompatible? If you had a geovision, I'd be long asleep on one of the other islands. So does this mean that D, that D. Luke is constantly em emitting a ton of heat wherever he goes, enough to melt ice? And if so, why is he wearing so many heavy clothes? Does that mean that he's hot? <laughs> <laughs> Literally hot. Excellent. Perfect. So, <laughs> Child's favorite thing to do is ice fishing, so he's gonna be like, can you leave? <laughs> All the ice. You're melting all the ice. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> Leave. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, regardless, things seem to be livelier now, no. which is good. It is good, Barbara. The Luke doesn't have to keep moving when he's in Shnaznaya. Nope. <laughs> He'll just stand. God, Deluke standing in Shnaznaya is just a constant little pillar of steam in the middle of the road. <laughs> he just Everybody broods. stares at him like. What the I'm brooding. <laughs> brooding solemnly into the sea. Yes, it is a boon to have extra allies in an unknown situation. You two, please join our travels. Do you also get bathing suits? Sure. But of course. Our top priority is to find Albedo and Razor. Do you know which direction they went? Well, Razor went down into the ocean. For now, it's impossible to locate Razor. As for Albedo, he went that way. Then there's no time to lose. Let's go look for him. Okay. <laughs> All right. Conch. I won't abandon this conch. I will find him. And I will kill him. What? <laughs> Where? Oh, well, hold on. Disappear. They were on the conch. They disappeared. Bye. They, they asked for it. They did. And now they're dead. <laughs> they all actually oh. died from that. <laughs> yeah, and it, one of them was like, eh, eh, eh. Conch. Hey, I found it. The other half of the ship, it's here. Uh, after everything we went through with the army, all our hard won treasure is gone, and so's the ship. When Chief Janome finds out, we'll be in for the scolding of a lifetime. Uh oh. This samurai puppet is all that's left. <laughs> And we're no more capable of getting out of here on our own strength than it is. Interesting. I have gotten a retrospective conch. <laughs> Take that. Take that excess damage, you asshole. Alright, let's go find Albedo. Man, I'm gonna have so many little mini event things to go do later. CONCH! Albedo's up by the conch! Oh, this island is really big. Where could he be? Albedo! <laughs> he just comes out of the bush. Did someone call me? He just pops <laughs> out. He pops out of the conch. 
Oh yes. my god. <laughs> yes? May I help you? Albedo, come out! Hmm? Is that the Traveler and Paimon? Napping the inside Genshin Impact of Animal it's Crossing expansion. <laughs> we can all what claim an island. Yes. Yes. <laughs> also, by the way, apparently uh, Aether, male hero, and um, and um, Albedo's voice actors like to play Genshin events together. <laughs> and there, and I, I saw it today on my lunch break. It just popped up on my feed. Um, apparently during the wind, uh, the the wind runner event, the one where you could mm -hmm. basically prop hunt. Apparently mm -hmm. they played the game. <laughs> They played that event together, just the two of them, and Albedo's Aww. voice actor could not find Aether, even though he had turned into a barrel and was sitting in a chair at a table. He stared right at him, and he's, he's like, I'm right here. And he goes, where? Where are you? And it wasn't until he turned back into a person, he went, oh, you were at the table! He's like, yes! I'm like, what? Mr. Albedo! There he is! Hello, everyone. Hello, Glee. I thought that we might convene around this time. I trust you enjoyed your stroll. How kind of you to maroon us on that neighboring island. Oh, please don't mention it. I felt please like the two of you could do it. some alone time. Albedo, why did you come here? I received a letter. On the way over, the four of us shared what we knew. A mysterious letter appeared outside each of our doors. They were all signed Dodo King. Anyone else find it hard not to crack a smile when Master Diluc says, Dodo King? <laughs> Everyone's letter was different. <laughs> and yet all of them drew us to this he archipelago. Knows. He, he knows. Us. He knows. Yes. My letter was very simple. Funny. I have Klee. Yes. If you wish to see her, come to the Golden Apple Archipelago. Oh, that's blackmail! Dodo King's trying to coerce you! It's actually Correct. extortion, but... <laughs> <laughs> ...successfully coerced. My letter was similarly straightforward. Among the deserted islands, you will find a sunken pirate ship. Within lies great treasure and long-lost antique vases of incredible rarity. <laughs> it would appear that someone came to learn of the circumstances surrounding the eye patch that my grandfather left me. Isn't this whole thing with vases and shit because he, like, broke of a really valuable, like, sentimentally valuable vase in D. Luke's house and has now, like, made it a personal quest to replace it? <laughs> or some shit like that? I remember something being like, yeah, there used to be a vase here, but it's, it's gone now. That's like Misty following Ash Ketchum around until he, he replaces her bike. Oh my god, and she yes. hasn't. Got <laughs> Never got that bike yeah. back. Never. Yep. After all okay. these years. So it's your story, the bike was never the objective, but the friendships made along the way. Yeah. The, f the bike was the friendships we made along the way. Yeah. Yeah. There is an abyss order stronghold among the deserted islands. Make haste. Well, I mean, there's a lot of hillatrils here, so there might be. You have to admire their strategy. The right bait for the right fish. So strange. They're all personalized. But why did Dodo King gather everyone here? <sighs> this is indeed a mysterious case. It's also really weird because the Dodo King is very specific to Klee, but he signed his letter Dodo King to everybody else. Uh, everyone else the must to too with. believe that Dodo yes. King. <laughs> it would appear that the grown-ups <laughs> among us Dodo King is in Pronstadt, that means, right? Yeah. <clears throat> he was able to sneak into... He's somebody in Mondstadt, then. Yeah. Hmm. Didn't Razor get a letter, too? He did, though he couldn't read it. A certain kind-hearted, cat-eared gentleman that he encountered on the way over was able to relay the contents to him. Ah, oh, Diona's dad! A kind-hearted, cat-eared gentleman? On the way over? Oh, Paimon knows! Paimon knows! It must be Draft, right? The content of Razor's letter was no more complex. The Red Bernie girl has gone to the islands. She needs help. So two people are here to rescue Klee, and the other two are here for a vase and and relentless destruction. Okay. Having heard the contents of the letters, 
It sense. became abundantly clear <laughs> something I mean, Kree right. is the destruction. <laughs> Klee is the embodiment <laughs> of destruction, yes. <laughs> Dilip doesn't have to worry about a stronghold here. We're gonna blow it up if we find it. It's all good. I don't yeah. believe the demo the man Dodo King exists, but there is someone or something with a reason for luring us here together. That wants to call itself Dodo King. No, no! Dodo King is real! He's... he's Dodo King! Flawless logic! <sighs> if you say so. Don't destroy the child's hopes and dreams, Deluke. Something yeah. caught Razor's attention on the journey over. Or he wouldn't have leaped from the dragon's back. Okay. Examine this okay. island. His footprints are nowhere to be found. And there's no sign of a boat having left. Which means that he is currently swimming at the bottom of the sea and can hold his breath for several days. Based on our position and bearing when he made the jump, if he didn't land here, then he must have made his way over there. To the platform with the dude on it. You've already been there? We were there a few days ago. There was a mysterious machine. Jean said that it came from Inazuma. Oh no, he's gone to fight it, hasn't he? Hmm. Could that be what caught Razor's attention? Everyone, let's head to the central platform. Hooray! We did it! And I'm gonna go find the conch. I'm gonna go find the conch and then we can go over there. Eh. Conch. There it is. Conch. Hey, do you hear that? That sound means the tide is coming in any second. We have to get to the top of the mountain. Here, climb up this vine. Go! Spoopy. Alright, we will pop back at the center of the island. When I was running boat things yesterday, I actually landed on this island by accident and almost ran into the arena. <laughs> it was really funny because I just suddenly pulled a U-turn and I was like, no! <gasps> Razor! <laughs> it's my other boy! It's our boy raised by Woof. And he has a stand. <laughs> yes. He's a Look, Jojo. Over there. They're having a staring contest. Razor. Everyone. I am here. Razor. I am here. Are you okay? <laughs> here. I am Are you here. Good? Do you need healing? No need. Okay. What are you oh, doing <laughs> exactly? <laughs> <laughs> Sad. I, I know. Smelled something. He's got dark circles under his eyes, and I'm worried that he's not sleeping enough. And for I mean, a boy who's outside with wolves all the time, he's so pale. He got he's albinism. Trying his best. He's got white hair and red eyes. This boy has albinism. I want. So this is my theory. Do you think he was abandoned because he has alb? Oh, maybe. Because. You know, back in the old day, because this is probably like Middle Ages ish. Ish, yeah, fantasy Middle Ages fantasy world. World, and back in the old days, I heard that the babies who were born like that or something, Got they think it's a curse or something. Oh, that could be. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know that we've ever really found out anything about his family, or if or if there is info about that, I haven't unlocked it yet, so that's something to definitely think about. This gift to you. Gift to us? What's this? Is this a part of the machine? Clear smell. Same as letter. Hmm. Razor did mention that his letter had a peculiar smell. You sure have a great sense of smell, Razor. Oh, <gasps> Did Dodo King factor that in too? At this point, it wouldn't surprise me if they did. Whoever they are. Also, this one and that one? <laughs> Same smell. Oh? This thing? Put inside metal person. Same. Here. He's gonna turn it on and we're gonna fight it. <laughs> I know this. Yes. I don't understand how. Traveler is clever. Razor trusts. Yeah, Klee trusts the honorary knight too. No, oh. not so fast. We need to think this through. What will happen if we reinsert the missing component? I mean, obviously it's going to turn on. I imagine. 
This Inazuman machine could well be something that Dodo King left here for us to find and activate. It might reawaken Dodo King himself. Then we will be ready for him. Honorary Knight, prepare yourself. For murder. We really wanted to meet Dodo King. That's why we came here, right? Let's shove a thing in the thing. All right. You guys ready for a thingy? Doesn't doesn't the wolf guy Razor? Doesn't doesn't yeah, doesn't Razor's voice sound like Death the Kid? Yeah, well his his voice actor sounds very very familiar. If he's not the guy who played uh, uh Sergeant Frog and the lead in in Hollick, yeah. if it's not and that Death, guy, Death it's the kid. Yeah. If that's From not Soldier. If that's not the same guy, then it's someone who sounds just like him. Yeah, like, that's definitely, like, it has to be that guy, right? There's yeah. no other way. We can Google when, him when and has, find out. When has one person ever sound like the other? <laughs> yeah. Person? Let's have Unheard. a quick look. What is, who is Razor's VA? His voice actor is Todd Habercorn. So, yep, it's him. <laughs> Boom. So heavy. He famous. All right, let's shove a, a gear into a, a thing. Yes. Todd. I did it. Wait. What? You did, did it. Did it move? Where are the things Whoa. going? Oh. It's moving. Oh. Right. Oh. Like... La la la. La la la. Have fun. <laughs> Time to kill it. La la la. la, la. Oh. It's full of ice. Oh, I don't like this Bushido thing that's happening! Da, da, da. Ah, boom. You might want to heal. Yeah. 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 <laughs> well. Noelle is, is one of my healers. Diona is the other healer. No. Very good here. She also makes uh, shield too, so I like her. Pew! Pew! <laughs> Please, so cute. I know, love her so much. I love, oh! I love her running animation. She's so cute. So adorable. <laughs> oh! oh. <laughs> He's very powerful. He is very strong. Oh! Oh! Oh no! 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 Oh no! 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 Thank you for shooting nothing, Diona. <laughs> she didn't like Chris bomb. She wanted to be safe. Oh, he know. He know. <gasps> what? <sighs> oh my god. Yeah, it, it, he. Honestly, I found him way easier than the wolf, though. Yeah. I feel like I can- ow! Like I can beat this guy! <laughs> okay, I don't You're know why that didn't hit. You're having trouble than I did, though. I must leave no stone on it might be because my world level's higher. I'm gonna have to turn it down if we're gonna I, fight him. I think he's the same level- or he's the same level as the one I fought. But. 65? Oh, maybe. Mm -hmm. I might not have the right team for him right now. Ow. I mean- I just had, I just, I just had Beto. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> I literally only had Beto, and I didn't have anyone else that I, like, use frequently, because everyone else in my party was, like, sucrose and, like, characters that I don't use very much. Um, because they, they, like, are the ones that solve the puzzles and stuff. Uh -huh, he's haha. -ha, ow! <laughs> oh god! <laughs> the range on that way farther than I thought. Yeah. I got uh -oh. a shield. It's okay. I have a shield. It's good. We're good. We're fine. It's okay. No. Oh. Get in the hang of it. Ow! So when, I, 
Alex, I can't wait once you beat this mm -hmm. to see what the challenges are regarding this. Guy. Oh god. Oh man. I am waiting in terror. Now, Kiki says that we we will be able to do this in in, in two. Yes. So I my hope is that the challenges are gonna be very easy. Oh, then will probably be much easier when it's just us, yeah. No! I'm running out of the stamina when it's time. La la la, la la la! Haha. Oh my god. <laughs> Disappear! Oh my god, he dodged it! Uh... You son of a bitch! <laughs> I think he's doing that on purpose. He's dodging the wind. <gasps> no. Almost got him. Ah! Really hurt. I'll record footage of us oh, fighting this guy because I feel you, like that's more fun. Yeah. If you um, if you time your dodge, you actually don't have to leave the radius of that. If you just time it right while you're dodging, uh, you mm -hmm. can you just won't take damage. From Was that. she crying? Yeah, she cries when she gets hurt. Aww. She goes. <laughs> Stop your whining. This is war, Kiki. I didn't whine. <laughs> I'm just like... Don't, don't Got feel him. for the children. Oh, listen to everybody's opinion. Oh, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> they dropped some gushers, apparently. Look, what's that? I called them power gems. <laughs> oh, I looked at oh. it and I thought it was a gushers fruit snack. Are those <laughs> Gotta go fast. <laughs> Oh, let's hope your faith in me is not misplaced. Before we get to the crystals, well, why don't we start with the machine itself? I mean, my faith in you is only as strong as your voice actor's ability to recognize a, uh, a barrel sitting in a chair. Our previous conjecture was correct. <laughs> this giant in Inazuma oh, attire is a machine modeled on the human form. Was it built for fighting? Like it's rude to make fun of the barrel challenge. I'm afraid so. It possesses significant combat capabilities, and seems to be autonomous. But for it to attack us indiscriminately like this, I believe it must have been damaged some time ago. Its outward appearance confirms its Inazuman origin. But, as far as I know, Inazuma is still under the Sakaku Decree. How could such a massive piece of offensive weaponry have found its way here? So either... They're saying that Inazuma... I think what they're saying is Inazuma has this decree that its Archons placed over the land, which is like, no one leaves. Because I think we've only seen one person from Inazuma, and she was like, I snuck out before they closed the border, and now I don't have a job. It was that lady that we had to help find work. It seems the answer to that question disappeared with the people that used to inhabit this archipelago. People? I'm sure the shrewdest among you have already come to the same conclusion. These deserted islands bear signs of human activity. I would go so far as to infer that this archipelago once held a human population. They were most likely visitors from elsewhere, not indigenous to the islands. They may have spent a long time here before finding a way to return home. Since then, the island has been empty, with only a few scattered remnants of the past. As for the crystals, hmm, they've been manufactured from a particularly rare type of ore, transparent. I believe they must have a specific function. We found a pile of stones and small flowers nearby. Do you think there's any connection? That sounds like someone wanted to commemorate the machine. Yes, I had a look at it myself. Uh, how can I put it? It almost feels like someone left a heartfelt offering of gratitude. Barbara's an empath! Hmm. I see. And what about the rest of you? Who do you think would want to commemorate a machine? Which can in mean this only way? one thing. Mm. She will be the one to pilot the spaceship. Yes! 
Only Barbara and her song can pilot the Macross. <laughs> I think a child could wanted to commemorate Perhaps it. Someone who was truly grateful. Only people that had benefited directly from the machine would leave a memorial like this. If the machine coexisted with that first group of humans, then the memorial isn't so hard to understand. Of course, this is only a hypothesis. Coexisted? You mean before it became damaged? Hmm, I wonder what exactly happened to it. Hmm, there is a Hilicho presence here. Perhaps this machine's indiscriminate attack is actually supposed to be targeted at Hilichurls to protect the inhabitants. An unlikely coincidence, I would have thought. In any case, this is all speculation. If we want to get to the bottom of it, we'll need more evidence. Yes, though we don't have any clues to go on, we should sweep the area again soon. But first, let's focus our attention on the problem at hand. <coughs> Look, another letter! It Ooh, must be the key. Thank you. A letter? Quick, read it! There was a letter in the mysterious robot. Dodo King, mysterious Dodo King, he sleeps alone on the southwesterly aisle. The bad child made him wait too long. The days grow dark, the stars are rising. Greedy spirit, greedy spirit, you made the moon run a ring. Keys of three colors guarded by a strange fish. The secret lies here. Do you dare to proceed? More cryptic riddles? What could it mean? And does it have anything to do with those crystals? And are also, multiple colors. Southwesterly Isle? Now which island would that be? I'd say it's about time we went and investigated instead of standing here making wild guesses. We've looked all over these islands, but there's nothing interesting here. There is too. The island over there is really weird. It has a big, huge, round thingy on it. The bubble. Lee, did you go off by yourself without authorization again? Oh, sorry. I just wanted to go for a walk. As long but as you, you could like see that. Any oh, my, <laughs> We've been looking at it. I stopped and stared at it a minute ago. Going, what the fuck is that? Run into danger when you're by yourself. Maybe they have bad eyes. Hey, next time you want to go anywhere, <laughs> please tell me first, okay? We'll go together. How does that sound? Klee just has a, an increased draw distance than everyone else. Yeah, her perception is really high. <laughs> It's not my fault you're blind, Jean. I thought Master Jean is always busy with other things. You really mean it? Of course. You are Yay! painfully okay. blind, child. <sighs> Where does she get the energy? If Paimon didn't know better, Paimon would think that Jean was Klee's mother. You know, I had the exact same thought just now. Kaya. Why did Kaya flex so aggressively when he said that? He put his hands in his side, he was like, I'm a fight Jean. <laughs> My apologies, acting Grandmaster. Honorary Knight, let's go and take a look. At that obvious bubble island. I would like to take this opportunity to thank all of my followers over on Patreon and give a special shout out to Jack Fox, Old Monster, Dizarin, and Jan Shalen. Thank you guys so much for your continued support. Hey everyone! Thanks for watching! Like what you saw? Have thoughts you want to share? Let me know in a comment! Want to help my channel grow? Then share with your friends! Or subscribe so that you never miss a new video! If you'd like to help me out and get some neat rewards, consider supporting me on Patreon! Thank you so much you guys! I really couldn't do it without you!